So here's a closer look at the streamer basket. The good news is this project takes very little in the way of materials. Since we're making our basket out of streamers, we of course need some streamers. These are like the crepe paper ones you get from the dollar store. This is also a great way to use leftover streamers from a party. My sisters decorated the house with streamers for my birthday last month. It was very sweet of them. So these are leftover from that. And then I've got some other random rolls here if I need any more. Just the basic kind you get from the dollar store. Next, we will need a bamboo skewer. The length of your bamboo skewer isn't super important. I personally prefer a longer one versus a shorter one. The most important thing is when you grab it out of the bag, you want to make sure it's straight. If you grab one, that's got a big bend to it, it's gonna make this project more challenging. Lastly, we might need a little bit of tape for some spots. So the first step in making our basket is we need to take this streamer and roll it into long tubes. I like to start with shorter sections and we're going to use the bamboo skewer as a guide to roll the streamer into a tube. So I'm going to set my streamer pattern side down and place my bamboo skewer on top of it kind of at an angle. And then we're going to fold it over a little bit and start rolling. You want to make sure that you roll at an angle so that way the paper will go down and get longer versus just bunching up. And you may need to crumple it a little bit to keep it overlapping. But basically I'm just going to roll, 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 slide my skewer down some. Roll and like I like I'm showing here, it might bunch up a little bit. That's okay. As I go along, I'm just gonna keep sliding my skewer down. I'm gonna do this the whole length of my streamer. Here's a closer look at what's going on. I like to fold the little excess so that way it just stays nice and tight. It's a good idea to do this part at a long table because to the left of me, I have a lot of streamers so it's able to be supported by the table. All right, let me finish rolling this one and a few more of these up and then I'll show you our next step. All right, so I have rolled up some more lengths of crepe paper streamers, and now it's time to actually make our little basket. First, we need to create kind of the backbones of our basket. Essentially, we're gonna have some pieces here in the middle that overlap, so it's the red in this basket, and those pieces are gonna run up the sides and form kind of the bones of the basket. So we need eight pieces to form the bones of our basket. I'm just gonna take these blue pieces and tear them in half. Now you're probably wondering how big. For a basket like this, a length about like this, which is probably like nine inches or so, will be enough. Basically it needs to be big enough that you can sit it in a U shape like this and it'll be the width of your basket, the height of your sides, and then a little bit extra to tuck in and fasten it off. So these are probably about nine inches and I'm gonna get eight pieces roughly the same length, so I'm using blue for the bones of my basket. Okay, I said that wrong. You need four, not eight. But either way, I've got these four pieces that are each, you know, these ones are a little longer. These are probably a foot long or so, a little longer maybe. And these are plenty long that I can make the width of my basket and also the height. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take two of them, put them together and run them left to right. And then the other two, I'm going to set on top of them running up and down and you wanna get them roughly centered. I'm just eyeballing it, but you can fold your pieces in half to find exactly center if you want. Now I need one of my long green pieces here, and I'm gonna take my long green piece and fold it in half. So I have this nice little U. In this U, I'm going to slide around two of my bone pieces, two of these blue pieces. So I'm gonna have my blue pieces overlapping in the center, two running up and down, two running left and right. I've got my other green piece here, looped in a U shape, caught around two of them. It doesn't matter if I start, if I wrap it around the two on the top, two on the bottom, whichever way, we'll still get the same results. So now it's time to make the bottom of our basket. To make the bottom of our basket, we're gonna do a fun little twist and then wrap it around the next two blue pieces. So basically I'm gonna take the top piece of my U and go underneath 
my blue pieces. And I'm gonna take the bottom piece and cross it over top. Then I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees. My bottom piece is gonna come over top. These two blue pieces and this top piece will then go underneath. Turn 90 degrees. So basically, another way to think about this is I'm taking these ones and going twist and then wrapping them around the blue pieces. We're gonna repeat this one more time around. So I'm going to twist and then wrap it around the blue pieces to the right. And I'm kind of pulling things snug so it stays and I don't end up getting big gaps. Twist. And then go around the blue pieces. So this under piece goes over the blue, the top piece goes under the blue. Bottom piece over the blue, top piece under the blue. Now that I've gone around twice, so I've gone over each of my blue pieces two times with green, we can see the two layers here, we're gonna split the blue pieces apart. So we're gonna do the same process, but we're only gonna do it to one blue piece at a time. So this bottom piece is going to come over top, just the one blue piece, and this top piece is going to go underneath it. And then we come to our next single blue piece, the bottom one, bottom green one goes over, the top green one goes under. We come to our next two, we're gonna split these apart as well. This bottom piece goes over, the top piece goes under. And we can kind of pull them around to space them evenly. Bottom goes over, top goes under. Bottom goes over, Top goes under. Bottom over, top under. And basically we're gonna repeat this process for the entire rest of our basket. So we've just about split them all apart. So we now have eight twists that we're making as we go along versus just four. And as we keep doing this under over kind of twist all the way around, our basket base will get wider and wider. So if I'm gonna follow this process until my basket is the size that I want it to be. So I'm gonna go a little bit bigger here. Now as you go along, you might run out of your pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I've got this other long green piece. I'm gonna tear it off into two pieces. Or if I had made two other pieces, I could just attach two separate pieces. But basically I'm gonna tear this one apart wrap the two ends together a little bit of my new piece and my old piece. Nothing fancy. And then once I've got it wrapped, I'm going to tape it together. You could also use glue if you don't want it to be as obvious as the tape. I personally don't really mind the tape. So that piece is longer. I'm gonna attach a second piece to my other one here. I'll just slide them together somehow and use a little bit of tape to hold them together. And once you get good at these, you don't need the tape to hold it in place, but I like to use a tape, especially for beginning, just to make sure it stays together and that's not one more thing to have to keep track of. And then we're gonna go back to our little twist and wrap all the way around until the base of our basket is the size we want. All right, so when we decide that the base of our basket is as big as we want it to be, to build the side walls, we're gonna repeat the same process, but we're gonna pull more tension. So here's what I mean by that, we're gonna go over with the under piece, under with the over piece, but instead of holding it out to the side, we're gonna pull it up so it sits on top of the last round we did. Then we're gonna do that twist, stand our next blue piece up, and wrap around it. Twist the green, and then stand the blue piece up. You can see how it's already starting to stand, stick up a little bit there. Twist, stand the blue piece up and put the green around it. Twist, stand the blue piece up and put the green around it. Twist, stand the blue piece up and go around it. Twist, 
thin the blue piece up and go around it. Twist. Stand the blue piece up. Go around it. So now I've gone all the way around and we're just gonna keep repeating this where we twist and go around our blue piece, which is already standing up. So just by putting in a little more tension, we cause the sides of our basket to form and grow upwards versus continuing to grow outwards. So I'm gonna repeat this for several more rounds. I'll probably need to twist up some more streamer because it looks like I'm gonna run out before my basket is as tall as I want it. And then once I get to the height I want, I'll show you how we go ahead and finish it off. So I've continued twisting and weaving around the bones of my basket, and now I am ready to finish it off. Now there are different ways to finish it off. Since we're working with the crepe paper, I find that it's really easy to simply just tie it off and then just tuck it down in there. That's what I personally like to do. It's not a typical way to finish off a little woven basket like this, but I find it's the easiest and works really well with this crepe paper. So basically, I'm just gonna tie a knot in it right here. So the crepe paper tends to hold its shape pretty well because you can just kind of squish it and bend it. Now that I've got a knot tied to keep it from coming undone, I'm gonna feed these tail ends down through the side of my basket, right through where the blue bone of my basket wall is going. I'm gonna run this other piece down there as well. I'm gonna run it down the side. Just kind of tuck it in, hide it out of the way. We will call that good enough. Then for these crazy pieces sticking at the top, you can do what I did with this basket where I just took each two, tied them together, and then fed the tails down through the side of my basket. Another option is to do kind of a more woven finish off where then we will cut it. So to do the woven finish off, I'm gonna take a blue piece to the left and go to the inside of the basket in front of the post to the right. Then that post I just went around, I'm going to take that to the inside of the basket around the next blue post. Post sticking upright, run it to the inside of the basket, inside side, and in front of that piece. And go all the way around in the same manner. And then once we get to our last one, I'm gonna feed it under the very first one here. At this point, make sure everything's in place good. I like to kind of go along and pull and squeeze and really crease things well so it'll stay. And these blue pieces, we're just gonna tear them off beyond where we tuck them. And now you will have a paper streamer woven basket. So I hope y'all enjoyed this project. This is so much fun. And I really like working with the crepe paper, the streamers, because it's just a great medium for getting the hang of weaving a little basket like this since you can squish it and get it to hold its shape pretty well just by creasing it. If you enjoyed this project, let me know by liking the video as it helps other people find my videos here on YouTube as well. I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not one of my crafters. Next week, I have another basket weaving related project for you. So make sure you come back and check that out. And until next time, happy crafting.